region prepares for the cooler season, CBS LA climatologist Marina Jurica breaks down the factors shaping the winter weather outlook. After two winters of wild swings from record rainfall to a weaker, drier La Nina, Southern California enters this season with plenty of uncertainty. We've already seen two record breaking rain events, one in October and another just a couple of weeks ago, both unusual for a weak La Nina year when we would normally expect drier weather. The fact that these systems hit so early and so hard shows just how unpredictable our climate drivers have become become. Here's what's shaping our season. That weak La Nina is still with us, meaning cooler than average sea surface temperatures along the equator in the Pacific. That cooling strengthens the trade winds and pushes warm water westward, shifting the jet stream north toward the Pacific Northwest, usually leaving Southern California warmer and drier. But other forces are rewriting the script. Warm ocean waters off our coast Coast, some of the warmest ever recorded are energizing storms with extra moisture. Upper level atmospheric blocking has steered a few systems further south and the warmer ocean acts like an atmospheric sponge fueling tropical like downpours even in fall. All these competing patterns make long range forecasting more challenging and much more dynamic. El Nino and La Nina used to be a one one size fits all approach to winter, but we've learned that's not the case, especially in a warming environment like we live in now. Looking ahead, models suggest an uneven winter, stretches of dry, mild weather mixed with brief, intense storms when the jet stream dips south. On average, odds lean slightly warmer and drier than normal, but this fall's early storms remind us that anything's possible. In a year that began with devastating wildfires, there's finally some relief. Even though the number of fires was higher, the total acreage burned is actually lower than last year and below the five year average. It typically takes about four inches of widespread rain to end peak fire season here in Southern California. And these two early storms have brought us right to that mark and then some. Still, if winter trends warm and dry again, fire danger could return early next year as vegetation dries out. And as we've seen before, there is really no guarantee with La Nina. Since 2000, there have been four weak events with rainfall totals ranging from just two inches in 2006 to 2007 to over 21 inches in 2004 to 2005. That massive variance combined with today's changing climate and record ocean warmth means we are in for another roller coaster ride this winter. So while the setup hints at a milder, somewhat drier La Nina winter, the early storms prove surprises are always on the table. I think there will be a push and pull between periods of above average temperatures, followed by intense storms continuing our weather whiplash for the area. Stay weather ready, Southern California. Keep those emergency kits handy and we will keep you ahead of the storm with our next weather watches and warnings. Marina Jurica, CBS LA.